Area. He's Brissetti, 6'1", 262, and a senior, and one of those three seniors on the line. And, and Mason, uh, you guys are playing extremely well right now. Did what you had to do. You did the job here in this ball game. And, uh, you know, what's your feeling right now as you think about it now, now that this game is over, and really when it comes down to it, the four toughest are ahead of you. Yeah, we definitely have a tough road ahead of us right now just to finish off the season. Uh, got Penridge next week, and uh, we just got to stay focused. I think we'll get the job done. Yeah, you know, it, it's not going to be easy, and everybody knows that, you know what it's like in this league. And, and now when you've got the, some of the, the teams that realize that they're up against it because you can't lose too many games, and the SOL National, like before, used to get maybe six, at least maybe seven in. And they know that's going to be reduced a little bit because you guys are knocking each other off. The good thing right now, you go into those last four, you're now 6-0. Oh, yeah, definitely. I, I think that whoever makes it through and gets the league title for this is probably going to be the number one or expected to win district. And I think we just got to go out there and get undefeated in the league and hopefully go through the district. Would you say, I, I wanted to ask you, you know, you're playing center. That, that, I think that's one of the toughest positions that there is on the football team. Uh, so far from who you had to go against, who do you think was the toughest team that, that gave you trouble as far as it, them and their defense? I think Abington so far, they're, they're all very fast on the line. They sh they're very shifty. They shift while the play is being called or while the, cage, the quarterback's doing the cage. It's just overall difficult to cover. Yeah, it was good to see, too, that, you know, as it turned out, you don't want to see it, but you got down early to them, and it was nice to see that after they run off and get right away a, a nice long drive for a touchdown and take the lead 7-0, you guys, you know, defense clamps down, and, and the offense goes to work and rolls the 34 unanswered. Yeah, we definitely had to refocus in that game. Uh, we didn't come out focused at all, and we just eventually got, got gears turning and it worked. Well, that's what I was telling your coach, Galen Snyder, about a game like this. When you get this, the biggest thing you got to remember is, you know, you're coming out of this game. You can't feel too good about yourself because you know that what you're going to be testing is going to be a lot tougher for the next ball game. And, uh, you know, you got to come out with that that intensity right off the bat because a lot of times when teams play a game like this, the next game they kind of get out slow and they get down and that's something you don't want to do. No, we don't want to do that. Uh, we have a track record of taking teams like this very lightly and not staying focused again. And um, we tend to take the tougher teams not for granted and, and go tougher against them. Well, Mason, you're doing a great job as uh, the entire uh, defense and offense are doing. And of course, you anchor that offensive line. We've got a couple things for you here. One's going to be a hoagie and a bag of chips and a soda from Landolfi's Deli at 90 West Afton Avenue in Yardleyville Square. And of course, you can take this and uh, that's one of the things we're going to give you. And of course, another one's going to be a Varelli's Yardley Pizza. And they're, of course, uh, located at 20 South Main Street in Yardley. So you go over there as well and uh, get yourself a pizza, get yourself a hoagie, enjoy it. And enjoy a couple days off this week. You're going to have a, a little rest, uh, I hear, before you get to practice again on Monday. Yeah, yeah that's, that'll be good that's, for you guys. You can use a little bit of that time to get ready for what's ahead. Mm -hmm. Mason, great job again you. tonight as usual, and good luck the rest of the way. Thank you. Mason Aurier, the center for this ball club, who's done a, a tremendous job for this team. And the other guy we have here tonight is uh, Tom Augustin. And, uh, it just so happens I happen to be talking to Tom and ask him how his uncle was, who's the head of the, uh, the Hall of Fame. And he said, oh, it's, everything's fine. And I, I think when you, when you look at it and I see you out there catching passes, uh, you also have... Uh, guys in there uh, who, who caught passes and uh, and you look at it and say boy this is a different team you caught one on the sidelines i don't remember when somebody caught one on the sidelines at pensbury for quite some time and you did a nice job right there to make that grab but how's it feel now when you know that maybe you're, you're even more a part of this because they will throw the ball uh well you know it's always a good feeling when you're gonna get the ball and uh especially when you have a quarterback like mike who's gonna help you get the ball and they focus on charlie like the defense does so this helps us open up the passing game a lot more. And uh, offensive line, too, with Mason and Austin and Sam. You know, you can't ask for much more than that. Well, I mentioned about the fact that, you know, you, you've been very consistent with the, uh, the holding for uh, the Josh Leon. But, boy, you had to go up and get off your knees for that one that was up there. You did a great job pulling that down right away and giving him time to, to still get that kick off and, and get it good. I thought, you know, that, that was the finest. Uh, you look at that one on film, you, you did an excellent job on that one. 
Yeah, I mean, you know, me and Austin have a little joke, you know, just give me the ball and I'll get it on the block. And uh, he was just a little nervous out there, I guess, or something. <laughs> yeah, well, it turns out that you, you took care of the situation. There's no doubt about that. But you got to be happy about the way the team is rolling offensively. You know, you come in there with uh, uh, Tabik and you guys bring in the plays each and every time. And you get an opportunity in there as well to not only do the blocking as you've done in past years, but now it looks like uh, you're in a situation where you got to be looked at as, as a guy who's a weapon. Yeah, well, you know, um, usually Pendry and receivers aren't used that much, and uh, this year everything's changed with everyone really loading the box and, yeah. block, and you know, but actually against Abington, I'm pretty sure they play cover two for a little bit, which right. is something we haven't seen in a while. So, I mean, you know, it's always fun when you're part of a team that's playing really well and has great players around you and they just help you get the ball more. All right, we got a couple things for you. Same thing as we had for Mason over there, and that's going to be a hoagie and a bag of chips and a soda from Landoffy's Deli, 90 West Afton Avenue in the Yardville Square. And, of course, uh, they are open Monday through Saturday, 8 a.m. to 6, Sundays 8 to 4, and their phone number is 215-321-4590. Enjoy that, and we'll give you something else, too, and that's a Varelli's Yardley Pizza. They're located 20 South Main Street in Yardley. And, of course, they're open Monday through Saturday from 11 to 9, Fridays till 10, and closed on Sundays. Their number is 215-493-6888. Take your time off. As Coach said, you guys are going to get a little breather for a while. Get back to it on Monday for a big game coming up next week. You won't have it until the weekend, so you'll be playing Saturday, so it gives you an extra day there. But congratulations on the job you're doing, catching, putting the ball down there for Josh, and you're doing a great job, and we just keep it going the rest of the way. Thank you very much. All right, so Tom, we got